mechanical pencil you can no longer buy, that luckily you can still buy. Hello everyone. One of the curious things about shopping for pencils or anything else at your local thrift shop is often you will find items that you can no longer find on the market. Um, so that's a positive because you get a chance to experience something that would otherwise be quite difficult to experience. Um, but the negative, of course, is if you find something you really like, uh, it can be a challenge to uh, find more of the same. Today we're looking at these uh, unique mechanical pencils, thrift shop find, and um, of a brand or a, uh, a make that does not exist any longer as far as I can tell. Uh, here we have one example of this pencil and it is broken. Uh, there was a clip that was supposed to be here that is no longer there. And we have an insignia here at the top, which is an F, stylized F, standing for 4A. As you would be able to tell if the print was still on the shaft of this pencil. But it came in a package, and we see some of them still have the markings on them. So before we get too far, let's pull out a few intact examples. So there were three that have broken clips in this pack. This one, it's entirely gone, and the writing is entirely gone. So we have black, we have blue. You can see a little bit of the writing still on it. The clip is broken mostly off, and then this red one was also fractured on the shaft itself, and you can see where I repaired it with some super glue. <clears throat> But these are an oddly shaped pencil, as you can already see. And that's not the only oddity about this pencil. Uh, 4A, the uh, brand name on it, was the house brand for, if I remember correctly, Home Depot. Or Office Depot, not Home Depot. Not Home Depot, but Office Depot. I don't think they use that brand name any longer. But that was the uh, that was the brand name, the, the house store store brand name for uh, products sold in Office Depot. Here in this pack, I was very pleased to find extras of the lead, which finding mechanical pencil lead now is not that much of a challenge. But this is a very unique lead, and we'll look at that in just a moment. Also, there were some replacement erasers and they are still relatively fresh in these little tubes. I've already replaced several in these pencils uh, because they were worn down. Let's look. See anything peculiar about the lead? It is a rectangle, about twice as wide as it is thick. And all of the lead that came in this thrift store grab bag was graded 2B, which is terrific because I prefer my graphite on the dark side. So if you look, it's a standard click type clutch mechanism. You can see how that graphite, when you hold it this way, is wide and slim in profile. Really unique shape for graphite and reminiscent of this Home Depot carpenter pencil. 
just uh, in a much smaller form, but broad and thin. <clears throat> So the shaft of these 4A mechanical pencils is similarly designed. It's broader than it is thick. It is uh, apparently a type of plastic that does not age well because, as I have shown, clips are broken off. Uh, the shaft in a few of them is cracked. The print doesn't hold very well and gets rubbed off easily with use, but just a neat pencil nonetheless. It has kind of a almost a metallic or a mother of pearl or something that you can't really pick up in this light I'm seeing. Maybe a little bit there. So a nice plastic in appearance, but the um, durability is not there. I don't know if they sell something similar at Office Depot now. Not sure. Not sure where there is an Office Depot now. Is there Office Depot? I don't even know. I know there are staples, but uh, haven't seen an Office Depot in a while. So that was neat. All the extra LEDs, extra erasers, all in one pack at thrift store prices. Um, you could not beat that enough uh, to last me a lifetime. Look at that. But <clears throat> you can no longer go to the office supply store, whatever it's called, and purchase these. However, if you like that style, the unique shape of the lead and the unique shape of the pencil, you can find something very similar on AliExpress, of course, like you can find anything there. Uh, it has a slightly different mechanism. It's a uh, still a click, but it's on a button here along the shaft rather than the back. Um, the eraser is a little bit smaller and under a cap. And it has some uh, writing that is not legible to me. This also came with 2B lead. As you can see, it did not come with extra erasers uh, and it took a few months to get to me, um, but for a buck fifty or so, you can get a one of these unique pencils. I kind of like the uh, uh, the texture here on the end. It helps with the grip, I would assume. I don't know how this plastic will hold up over time because I haven't had it that long, um, but hopefully better than these 4A pencils. Let's. Um, since I've wasted enough time here, let's give one of them a try. Okay, let's advance a little bit of lead there. Not too much. When you're writing with a standard round or hexagonal pencil, the normal, uh, when I'm writing normally, I tend to twirl the pencil as I'm writing so that I'm getting a even wear on the tip and I don't develop any flat spots or sharp points. Um, it's a little different with this because it sits naturally in the hand in one particular orientation. 
and you have to flip it completely over 180 degrees to get that exact orientation the other way. And you end up holding it at an angle like one would use in writing, um, you know, in calligraphy. Um, so you get like a thin line going up and a fatter line coming down. Barely noticeable because I've worn it down some, but um, very kind of a different writing experience. And this soft to be lead does wear down quickly it would be easy to develop sort of a sharp chisel on there just from keeping it in the same position while you're writing bottom line is i like these the erasers i don't know how old these are when they stopped making the 4a brand or labeling them such but i like this rather a lot and uh the shape of the lead is unique and I guess offers some benefits in the character of the line you're writing. Probably would be useful as a drawing implement because you could get a different size line depending on how you're holding the pencil. If this would be something that you might find interesting. There's still hope. AliExpress to the rescue. I don't know what they call these on AliExpress, but if you look for mechanical pencils, you'll find it, I'm sure. There's some information that may or may not be of use in that regard. If I can find it again, I will put a link in the description. Anyway, just thought it was a neat find from my local thrift and from AliExpress. If it's of interest to you, go seek them out. I like them. Thanks for watching this review today. Hope to see you here again next time.